Hello guys, my name is Uram and today I want to talk about PHP namespaces. Namespaces can help you in two things. Namespaces can prevent name collision of classes, functions and constants and they can make code more organized. Imagine the case that you declare a variable, my variable, in a global scope and in a function scope. And when you change this variable in a function scope, it only changes the function scope's variable. It doesn't affect the global scope. Namespacing does the similar thing, but to classes, functions, and constants. Another example would be if you create an emailing package which sends emails and you, clear, and you declare a class email and you publish this repository and someone takes your code and uses it and if this someone has declared also email class then they, uh, he has a problem. You declared email class, he declared email class and there is name collision. Namespaces fixes this problem. So you just need to put everything of your code, every class function and constant in your namespace and that's it. Let's jump to my PHP storm. Here in NSPHP, I have declared user class, which is in global namespace. By default, every class function and constant declared by the PHP engine itself, built-in classes, functions, uh, or when you declare, are declared in a global namespace. So the user class is declared in a global namespace. And when you use it, you use it like this. It's really simple. You have done it many times, even though you have not touched namespaces at all. So when I run this code, index.php, this works fine and it prints global namespace. Now I want to wrap my user class in a namespace, in a unique namespace. Namespace, the code holic. I know that this namespace is unique. No one has it. So I'm taking this namespace and that's it. The class is under this namespace. Now, if I want to use the user class like this, it's not possible anymore. So I run the code and it says class user not found. That's because I'm trying to access user declared in a global namespace. And there is no user declared in a global namespace. So I want, I, if I want to access some global namespace classes like PHP's datetime, that's possible. I can access datetime class because this class exists in a global namespace, but user class doesn't exist. So how can I access my user class? There is, there are two options. First, to use the namespace name in front of the user class, and that's it run it like this and it prints global namespace. Second approach is to use the use statement and here put the full qualified name of the user class. And the full qualified name is namespace plus the uh, class name itself. So in this case, this code works fine and prints global namespace. So as I said, uh, the declaring classes, functions, and constants work in a similar way. So if, you, if I declare a function hello in these, the code holic namespace, let's make it empty function and I declare constant my constant, which is 10 in this, the code holic namespace, I can use them right here. But I need to use either like this, hello, or use the code holic hello, like this. And in this case, I can use the hello function like this. So, but here, when I'm, when I'm importing a function with use, I need to write here a function keyword. By default, the use statement only imports classes. So if it tries, uh, it, try, it searches a, a user class in this namespace, and if it finds, imports it. Uh, if you want to import function or constant, you need to use the corresponding identifier. Here, I need to import my constant. And I can print out my constant without the, uh, the code holic uh, namespace. Let's run the code. It prints global namespace and then 10. Okay, let's put this file also 
in some namespace. Right now, this file runs in a global namespace. Let me put this in some namespace, like namespace ns2. Okay? In this case, this code like this works fine, but if uh, let me remove this function and hello and work on the user class. Uh, but for now, I'm going to comment the user class also and show you how uh, it works in the PHP's built-in global classes and functions. So, I showed you an example that when the code is running in a global namespace, then I can access the daytime like this. But that's not going to work when the file runs in some namespace other than global. So, uh, this code throws an error. So, if I comment this line, this is fine. Run the code, nothing happens, no error. Uncomment the code, run it, and here I see error. Uncode error class ns2 daytime not found. This is because engine searches for the daytime class in the current namespace. So it searches to the uh, the engine's search is relative to the current namespace. So if it would be declared a daytime in the ns2, then it would be fine. So to solve this problem either I need to use also the use operator and here I can write just daytime or I can use a backslash here. The second one is more convenient. Okay, let's talk about sub namespaces. So in NSPHP, the current namespace is the code holy. Let me uh, remove the function and constant and I'm going to change this into the code holy sub1 sub2 sub3. Now the user class is declared under this namespace. Okay, so and if I want to use the user class, I need to use with this namespace. Let me remove this use and put it right here, user, and that's fine. Why it does give me warning? Sub3, it should be good. Let's run the code. Yes, here the problem is that I don't have here written backslash. Without backslash, the engine tries to find this namespace under ns2, because the current namespace is ns2. So, all in all, it tries to search this namespace, this class, and it doesn't exist. So, if I want to access the user class, I need to put here backslash. Now, when I run the code, it prints global namespace, which is, of course, wrong, because this runs in a different namespace, but that's just a string, okay? Okay, now I'm going to reduce this again and just write here ns1 and use here, let me remove the namespace, remove this and just put here ns1. Okay, now I'm going to talk about PHP's built-in functions and what happens if you want to create a function which uh, has the same name as the PHP's built-in functions. So, let's say that in NS1 I want to create a function strlang, which accepts some string and for my function it just returns NS1. Okay? Now, the strlan function is declared in ns1, so if I want to use this strlan, obviously I need to use with ns1 backslash strlan, which is my function, and if I output the result of this, this prints um, ns1, okay? But, let's say that here in the namespace, I want to use PHP's built-in ns1. Okay, so strlen and pass there some string like abcd, semicolon, and right now this function, uh, the invocation of this function executes this function, declared in the same namespace. If I want to access the global uh, namespace functions, I need to put here backslash. Okay, so let's output the result of this, and it prints 4, 
which is the length of the string. Okay, now let's talk about multiple namespaces. In the best scenario, multiple namespaces are declared in a separate file. So a um, recommended way of doing things is to create a separate folder for separate for a new namespace. But if you want, you can declare multiple namespaces in a single file. Okay, so let's remove the functions and leave only class. And let's say that I want to declare here in the same file ns2 namespace. Okay, and I want to declare user class in the ns2. And let's call it ns2 and let's call it ns1. That's, that's valid code and uh, let's remove the strlin and I can create two instances, one from ns1, second from ns2. If we run the code, we see ns1, ns2. This way of doing things is not really recommended as I already mentioned, um, but if you still want to have multiple namespaces in a single file, there is a better way of doing this. Uh, put here curly braces and paste your code inside curly braces and do the same thing for the second namespace. Let's format the code and this is better way of putting multiple namespaces in a single file. Let's run the code and it still prints ns1, ns2. We don't see any error, which is the most important. Now let's talk about aliasing. I'm gonna um, leave only the first namespace and let's say that um, my namespace is really large and my class name also is really large. Okay, so I am, okay, the code holic uh, slash sub one, sub two, sub three. And the class name is uh, my um, awesome class which does something awesome. Okay, really, really long name. Um, and let's say that I want to use this, um, this class in the index.php. Okay, so one way, as we already know, is to take the namespace, put it here, and use the class like this. But that's really ugly if I want to use this class in multiple uh, areas. That's awful. Hate it. Okay. Um, Let's try to use the use operator, use this one. Okay, better, and take this and put it here and repeat this. Okay, I don't hate it, but I don't also like this. Really, really long name, it's ugly. I can use alias when I'm importing a namespace. Okay, so here I can put as and use whatever I want. If it's a valid class name, I can call it like my CLS, my class, or my awesome class, okay? And I can put here this, which is more handy, more readable, and it doesn't make our code really long. Run the code, nowhere, which is what we want. Okay, uh, before PHP 7, if you wanted to import multiple classes from the same namespace, you had to use separate use statements for each class. But this is changed since PHP 7. Okay, so if I have another class uh, in the same namespace, okay, let's make it shorter to make my life easier. Um, I'm going to call it again ns1 and let's get back to the user class. And let's say hey, uh, here I have article class, uh, typo article, um, and let's create another class comment. Okay, and here in index.php I'm using uh, ns1 user, and as I said, prior to PHP 7, I had to import use separate use uh, statements, like use article, use comment. But after PHP 7, I can import them in a single line. User, article, 
and comment and I can delete these two lines. And this is really handy and I can create an instances like user article comment, okay? If you want to use functions or constants in a similar way, you need to use here const keyword or function keyword. And if you have the following functions or constants declared in the in this namespace, that will work. One thing to note about constants. So if you declare a constant with the const keyword under some namespace and you want to use here, you need to use with namespace. Uh, ns1, ns1, my constant. But this behavior uh, is different when you define constant with the define keyword. So here is the constant name, the first argument and the second argument is the constant value. So if you define constant with the define function, then you can directly use whenever you want with the name, whatever you put here. Okay? You can find some useful links down in the video description below, so definitely check out the video description. If you have any questions, feel free to write comments below. If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe buttons and share this video to your friends. Thanks for watching and see you in the next time.